So <clears throat> coming back to the project that I started during the class uh, with some veterans through an organization called Path with Art, a phenomenal organization that provide low cost, no cost uh, art classes to uh, various groups of people. Uh, and one of groups of people happen to be veterans. Um, being a veteran myself, uh, super happy to be a part of it. Um, and during that class, we were talking about different design options and I started channeling my inner uh, Stuart Farini <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, just doing some quick things just to kind of show what the different possibilities were. And um, it made me want to get back out of here after the class was over and actually do something with this. So I'm going to turn some of this away uh, and we're going to start over. I, I kind of really like this idea with the angle grinder going in there and making some patterns. Um, and then we're going to play with some, some different colors. So let's get going. So I've sanded up through 240 grit, um, and if you've never tried them, uh, I just got these green wave remover smoothers from Wood Turner Wonders, as is this inertia sander. I've had this one for a while. It's awesome. Um, but I've been using the, the Wonder Weave and just got these, and these are super duper aggressive, made sanding super fast on this. Um, so give them a shot. I'll put a link down to them below. Um, Ken over there is, is great. Uh, so you can see it's got the, all this really great figure coloration and things like that. You can't see this figure so much right here, but it's gorgeous. It's going to be a shame to cover that up, but we will do what we can for art. Um, so I've already kind of buggered this area up um, when I was doing the initial demo. So my thought was go through where I've drawn these pencil lines with the Dremel, um, texture this area all up. Same thing over here, texture this whole area up. And then tape this in really interesting part off. Um, and that way when I color, this will still be natural. And then we'll texture and color kind of the rest of this in a, in a different way. Um, that's the thought. We'll see. See how it goes. Uh, so let's see it over. see some of that. We got a little bit of that in there. I'll do the same thing on this side. Shouldn't see a little bit easier. Let's see if we can't screw that up too much. Decent enough. So now I just need to texture it. And I was thinking about just continuing to use this little bit here. Maybe it's a little small though. I don't know. Let's see. Thank you. 
Pretty cool, huh? Guys like uh, Yuval on YouTube and uh, uh, a couple other guys on Instagram, they do stuff like this. And theirs is way more tasteful than, than mine is, but it's fun, though. It's a little hand crampy, but it's fun. Let's see, a couple spots. Here, it's going to be a lot larger. Well, I won't bore you with this, uh, but we will come back after that. So here's the other side. There's that side. I know it looks like the pencil lines are still there, but that's just shadow. There's no pencil lines on there whatsoever. But what these grooves do, or tell me where the edges of the part I want to save is. So that's cool. That will get us uh, going a little bit. So let's get some tape on this. And... Okay, I know I said I was only going to tape off the one side, but I changed my line. Sue me uh, later. Right now, I need your support. Uh, I just can't, like, I don't know how these guys do it, where they have, like, a beautiful figure in the wood, and then they cover it with with color or paint or something, and I just, not strong enough, I guess, is the, the moral of the story. So, let's get started with some coloring on these textured bits. What I'm going to try to do is do some black, and I think either some red or some green over, let's hand it back a little bit, do some India ink here. Loot my India ink with uh, stuff's expensive with a little denatured alcohol. Mix a little bit, go all the way. And India ink is probably the only colorant I use that's not, you know, a typical wood dye. Um, I was making drums. There's a lot of trans tint. It's good stuff. Okay. Let's flash off a minute. Transtent bright red. And what we'll do is do a couple drops, probably more than I wanted. And then a little alky haul. Right, he should have sprayed it. He's got a little creep. 
it's normally not as big a deal, um, but these trenches gave us a good, good avenue for the the uh, die to get into there. So we're gonna have to come up with a new plan. Maybe we will die the whole thing. I think we'll die, die red. Maybe heavy. Much heavier than last time on the red. It's the worst that's gonna happen. Red, black. Well, welcome back. It's been a couple days. Um, I actually am really happy with the way this color's turned out. You got a little bit more of the red throughout here into the black areas. Um, you know, there's some bleed over for where the tape had creases. Um, I just didn't do a good enough a job of, of uh, making sure those were down all the way. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm pretty happy with that. I might give it a a light sanding just to pop this green down a little bit. It's got a little fuzzy, but probably not much. The main issue is um, is that I didn't use any sealer on this wood before I started coloring. And since this wood is so dry, it ended up pulling a lot of color straight through into the inside of the bowl, which I was initially planning on leaving <clears throat> kind of a natural look. Um, so we're going to try to turn that away, um, and if we can't turn that away, then maybe we'll just set it on fire. But we'll see. I think that looks, it's going to look really cool with some finish on it. polish. So I find personally um, the best result to have with friction polish is kind of like shine juice where you put a coat on by hand, set that up a minute, and then then you go back. Set it up for a second.
think if anything, I've learned a couple of good lessons on this one. Next time we'll definitely spray it. It should be damned. But yeah. let me know if you think I could have done something different. Let me know in the comments. Quite a lot. Let's clean this up a little bit. All right, well, pictures at the end. Um, true Stewart style. <laughs>